Hey guys, welcome to another photo book critique. And this time we are going to be covering Kobayashi Yui's photo book. Now, first time for her, Kiyakizaka, as we can see, have recently been releasing photo books. And this is Kobayashi Yui, Yui Pon's photo book. So we'll be able to go ahead and take a look at it. As always, I look at the covers, the inside covers, first page, last page, and any photos I want to highlight on the inside. Now, if you're interested in Kobayashi Yui, first of all, I should say, if you want to support her, go ahead and pick up this photo book. I will talk about my opinions of it at the very end of the critique, so stick around till the end to find out who I recommend it to. Let's start off with the front cover. As you can see, this front cover right here, we can see her right here sitting down on this couch at the very edge of it where the armrests are and kind of helping prop her up a little bit, elongate her legs. They have something right here to prop up her legs, to have these angles right here. Having a triangle in here is very fashion-like, which is why this image really feels more fashion-like. And having this gradient right here really helps draw you into her that's a little bit brighter than these dark edges right here. Having the blue over here with the blue around makes it very monochromatic and a very nice image overall. Only critique really would be the fingers right here, they're a little bit too angled for me and usually that means a little bit of nervousness so having it a little bit more smooth, relaxed will help her seem a little bit more confident. So yeah, nice image to start it off and I also want to say this is the Amazon edition cover. This isn't the regular edition cover so if you have other editions go ahead and look at those and let me know what you think of them. And then looking at the back we kind of get a scenario of she's not in her regular world She's herself as she is, but with other people here, kind of sets her apart and says, hey, I'm not in my world anymore. I am me still, but I was just transported here out of nowhere. All right, now we look at the inside cover and right here we can see it is her in this red dress repeatedly with the confetti. We'll see how the confetti comes into play in the actual photo book. But looking at this, and then the other side, it's very much of the same scenario of the very same section of the photo book. Because she probably had her birthday when she was photographing this photo book. So it's a nice little celebration of her. And then when we open up, we see a little bit of a message from her. We see something about Igeri Suroke Mae Shashin Shu Staff To. Something about like a message about them, like thanks staff and England for doing this. Something like that. But most importantly, we get to the next page, which is opening with these two images right here. Again, her in the brand new environments, kind of reflecting the back cover and all the different types of people that are here in this world that she is in now outside of Japan, even though she is still wearing the kind of classic sailor outfits. And I actually really like this image right here with the moving background in the back, but yet her totally tack sharp focus and kind of light facing her right here in the face very nice we, we have this is an interesting images because we have her right here posing in front of these two people right here i don't know if he's like taking picture of the photographer but this is an interesting choice i haven't seen something like this before in a photo book so i think it was really interesting and if you haven't noticed her expression is kind of similar throughout get used to that but we do get a little bit of a change of expression and we see that in this one right here. She is smiling a little over here, posing in front. And we have her right here, a little bit more of a concerned face. It's a slight variance, just like how this one's a slight variance on the other one. I like this little hint at 46 right here. She's posing in front of door number 46. Then we have these images right here. I feel like they're a little bit too yellow, but I feel like they're maybe going for that sunset mood for these. So I think this might be more of a artistic choice rather than a wrong one. But really, even looking at the next page, it's all really close up. And I kind of wish there was one a little bit farther away so I could get a sense of the environments because otherwise she could be anywhere. She could be in a studio for all I know. Next we have this image right here, which was previewed before the photo book came out. And I have to say this image is really nice. Again, I like my a little bit wider ones. And this one really sets the mood and her wearing blue with this blue background with a little bit of green again all blending in really nice then we move on to this image right here and again you know my underwater images 
it's a little iffy sometimes and this one isn't one of those iffy ones <sighs> i feel like the water warps her body way too much in this one so i can't really say they pull it off that well for this one though this one the water doesn't affect it that much and the nice light is coming in so they had to expose for her face which is why the background is so white as we can see we have more of her right here posing actually i kind of like this one although it does kind of like give me like a Loch Ness monster kind of vibe <laughs> i don't know maybe that's just me but i get that sort of vibe but i still really like this image a lot maybe you know going up a little bit more kind of like bending the back pulling the head there's a little technique in photography where you pretend there's a string through your body maybe a little bit more of that that way it doesn't seem so Loch Nessy. <laughs> and plus showing the shoulder a little bit will help add a little bit more to the body she kind of like this one but i feel like she didn't do the pose exactly right like right here she's like trying because you hide the chin a little but i feel like it's a little bit too scrunched up and not so elongated and elegant kind of feels a little bit awkward to be honest now this one kind of going for the cowboy theme i mean i get the sense of the environment so that tells me there was a lot of pre-production into this where they thought about the location and they thought about the wardrobe the light color i don't know something stirring me off about this color of light it might be a little bit too orange and green for my taste I don't know, something stirring me off about it. See, but this image right here, I actually really like this image. Like, her posing right here, like, very naturally, but yet at the same time, very fashion. Like, this, this is something you see in an advertisement, like, in US magazines for, like, this bag right here. Like, this really does feel like an advertisement, especially with this environment and everything. I think this image is so nice. And also, a little detail. We have black borders around, not the white ones. Next we move on to these images right here which were previewed before. This one right here, really nice. Having the light in the background, slightly parted lips showing more relaxed feeling to it. Her arms up in the air, not directly towards the camera but more to the side showing more openness. Having these triangles right here, more fashion like. A little bent in the hip, having a little S into it. Overall, really nice image and especially this hair light right here. You guys know how I love my hair lights. This image right here, if she only a little bit bent it a little bit more it would have caused a little bit more of a curve and i think the image would have came off a little bit stronger same thing for this one right here if she just scooted back a little bit more maybe push back her shoulder blades this image could have been a little bit more elegant especially matching the environment that she's in this one right here she's a little bit too flat in the back and it's a little too blown out for me to say i like this image though this one right here this one's pretty nice, especially with this nice reflection going on over here. The light hitting here over here at the edge. And overall, it's a, it's a little flat lighting, but I feel like it fits with this theme. Then we have this nice white one over here. As we see the horizon line not cutting off her head and going perfectly above her, kind of showing her in this environment. Now, there's a couple pages of this of her exploring. Don't think they're the strongest because she really has this expression there the whole time. She looks... Like this image right here kind of makes it look like she's a little unimpressed, just looking around, wandering. A little curious, but at the same time like, oh, I expected a little more. Which isn't the best feeling for this type, especially when you're exploring in a new location for a photo book. This image right here is too blown out in the background, and there's a lot of light coming into the lens, which makes this right here very blurry. As you can see, it isn't in focus. Thanks to the light coming in and making it a little bit more blurry but i do like this shape right here that they're doing with her arms going back and her shoulder blades sticking out her elongating her neck a little bit as you can see right here really nice flow to it but again that bright background with her being a little out of focus takes me out of it now these two sets of images are really interesting because usually what we see is a wide then to a tight of the face but in this case we have a like a medium shot to a tight of the water in here, kind of setting up the scenario a little bit differently than we usually do. Right here, we kind of get the sense of, okay, she's going somewhere, these poles over here give us clues. The lighting is a little weird, which I think really helps this image complete it. Because when you just look at this image by itself, it's like, oh, okay, they're in some weird pool place, maybe. But then right here, we see, oh, it's a little bit more than that. Like the colors and the magentas and the reds really complement well with this image right here. Right here we have this image of her waiting over here with everyone over here. One thing that does distract me a little is this eye right here. This eye is so in focus. Like I wish they would have blurred it a little in post. And 
it's, it's like I see this and then like I see something sharp on the side of my eye and it's this eye over here so I think actually thinking about that maybe they should have done something like that with her hmm we have this image over here which is a little blown out but I actually do like this image I do like the pose that she has over here going on again having little triangles everywhere this is like a triangle this actual wardrobe that she's wearing is a triangle little triangle over here little triangle over here again very fashion like and having the wardrobe like that and having the lighting coming over here going over here a little bit more I think this image is nice and I think this lighting fits a little bit more than the other ones did I, I think broad lighting does fit her a little bit more this image I actually like this image right here it's, I think I like it because of like the gunk that's around the windows and the old feeling over here with her being tack sharp and focus again being in focus it's so useful sometimes. I don't know if you notice this, but there's a lot of her over here, like at the bottom of the horizon line. And this is another one over here of her being right here under this horizon line and really helping her squish down and making the whole environment important, which I really like. This is a little bit too much in focus, but doesn't really bother me. Now this image right here could have been better. If the camera wasn't so low, it wouldn't make her legs look so big. If the photographer stood up maybe just a little bit more, then maybe it would have been a little bit more proportional and not so big on her legs. Like her foot looks huge right here. And I don't think it's that big in reality. See look, now look at this image right here. As you can see this image, the legs don't look as big and you see the whole environment here. I don't know why, like there's this much room to play around with. And if, ooh, if this was shot like on a cloudy day, the lighting from there would be so nice. So here we go, a little bit more into the shape. Again, the ISO is really high in these. You can see there was a little bit of denoiser going on over here. They might have went a little bit too far on the denoiser. But you can see that it's over here. You see the body shape. You see over here the S curves. The arm is helping a little bit accentuate it a little bit more. Coming, you know, it goes up, then down, then up, then down to the neck. And then her pushing her head down a little bit helps finish it off. Not too hot on the fact that she's facing her back of a hand towards us. It's a little bit masculine when you do that. So maybe like just resting it a little bit would have helped out. This image set right here is actually a little bit interesting. I skipped a couple of pages because they were kind of repetitive. Um, but it's her looking out over here and then we get a shot of the shoreline with her in the corner. It's sort of the opposite of what we usually get where it's the wide to the tight. So this time we get the tight to the wide. And it's a totally different angle and different feel to both of these images. Right here, it's like it's about to start getting dark. It's about to become sunset. So it's her looking over, seeing over there. And then over here we have her now that it's more sunset looking off into the ocean. I actually like this set of portraits right here. I think as a portraits, they're pretty strong. Like you have the nice bokeh in the background with the nice hair lights and everything. Look at this light. It's like perfectly placed right here to go right in front of her right here. Nice set of images right here. Like really solid. Next we have these set of images right here and the expression is too, too similar to each other that it kind of feels like they're posing and then they just turn the camera a little. Like the same thing and her just following you with her head. Like the idea is nice but I feel like if the expression was just a little bit different it would have helped out so much. Now this image right here really nice like the curves and everything the lighting again it's a little blown out over here but maybe going a little bit darker would have eliminated all this detail in the background so I could see the choices of doing that. I would have tried the other way and see exactly how it came out. Maybe they did Maybe they didn't. Then we have another curve of her right here where it's going down and look even more of the arm helping out right here going down and then coming back up really helping out with that and then coming straight back up maybe she was just a little bit more back but honestly this image right here is solid with the colors and everything going on like this return to red I think this image is really nice a little vignetting over here to help you attract more on the intention yeah now these images right here are kind of interesting I think there's a little bit of sharpening going on in the eyes because this eye seems a little bit too sharp especially with like her hair right here not being that sharp or part of her nose not being that sharp I feel like this was a little bit post gotta be careful with those sharpening tools 
This image, I actually like this image right here. I feel like it's nice, elegant, simple, and that's all we need. This image right here is kind of her gazing off, like she's thinking about something really hard, and she's like dozing off. Probably not the best expression. Next we have this image right here, and I'm covering up on purpose. I don't know if you noticed, but in photo books sometimes I cover up because YouTube will might take it down, so gotta be careful. But this is where the confetti comes in from the other image that we see, and I don't know if this is afterwards the birthday cake or before, but this is where the set comes from. These images are, like the lighting is very nice on them, but again, it's her expression, pretty similar throughout. And of course, the stock eating ones that we always need, very yellow in this room. <laughs> Here we have an example of the horizon line cutting off like <laughs> the worst spot, which is her neck. Um, usually you don't want the horizon lines to be here or here. These images right here are really moody. Like, this totally feels like an ad for like a Fuji film camera. Like, that's the type of feel I get when I look at these images. This one I like. This one I would have liked a little more if it was wide. That way we get like the contrast. This one, the horizon's a little bit too high on this one. It's a little crooked too, which is a little noticeable, especially where there's a little bit of here and this big area over here. I mean, if it was a little bit straight, it would have caused me to like it a little more. <laughs> then move on to this last image of the photo book before the long interview, as it says here. This is a nice one of her in the sky. There's a little bit of detail over here, maybe with content aware, they could have taken that out. But I like this image right here, really nice, just looking off into the distance, remembering the past and the photo book and the trip, everything together. And the colors are really nice, like the lighting is really nice. Really nice way to send it off. But then we get this image right here, which is of the bridge. We get the credits and we move on to another message over here, handwritten. And with her sitting down over here, I kind of wish it was just this, not this image, because we're kind of like, okay, this is the credits. Oh, one more image, by the way. Let's just put that in there because we need something else in there. And yeah, that's the photo book. Let me know what you guys think about the photo book down below. Again, having the photo book in your hands, looking at it is a million times better than looking at it online. Like this is a step up from looking at it online, from scans and everything. But honestly, having it in your hands is a whole different experience. So who do I recommend this photo book to? Of course, Kobayashi Yui fans. I also recommend it to fans who really, really like Kiyakizaka and want to support them. One thing I do have to say about the photo book is her expressions are very similar throughout. Like, there's little slight variances which I pointed out, but the ones that I didn't show, really, it's either because I don't want to show too much of that on YouTube, which there wasn't a lot more than what we've seen in the previews. Like, we've seen the worst in the previews, but the expressions were so similar that I didn't even want to highlight it because the expressions just made it look very similar throughout. Made it seem really repetitive, and by the time I get to the end of it, I'm like, oh, a different expression, finally! So yeah, that's something to be careful of. But again, if you're a fan of hers and really want to support, then I recommend getting it. There's a couple of images that I pointed out that are really good. So again, I say pick it up and see for yourself. If you enjoy this photo book critique, leave your likes down below, leave your comments saying what you thought of it, and share it with fans who you want to see their opinions of and maybe relate it to mine, see theirs, because again, you can have your own opinion on this photo book. That does it all for this photo book critique. Catch me on the next one.